channel. Today I have a video that has been extremely requested both on the internet like by you guys and also by a ton of people that I know have been asking me to do this video. So today I am finally showing you my makeup collection and I know this always comes with a few disclaimers so I'm sure y'all have heard this before but I just kind of wanted to throw it out there. I am not making this video in any way to brag or to show off. I have bought all of this makeup either with my own money or it's been gifted to me by my parents or my friends and my family. So I have worked really really hard to build up my little collection and it is a lot smaller. That's another kind of disclaimer. I know it's a lot smaller than I know a lot of big huge YouTubers have but I'm very proud of my collection and I love everything that I have and I work hard for everything that I have bought and everything that I choose to put in my collection everything like that so anyways I just kind of wanted to throw those couple of things out there I'm not making this to brag at all if you're anything like me I love watching other people's makeup collections I like seeing how they organize things I like seeing what they love what they hate what they have everything like that but I'm very proud of my makeup collection I love it and I can't wait to share it with y'all this is the first part of what I call my makeup collection. This is actually kind of my makeshift vanity. But anyways, this is where I keep a lot of the makeup that I just use most often. I use this mirror over here to do my makeup every day. And these two mason jars right here is where I keep my everyday brushes. Right here is just my everyday face brushes. And then right here is my everyday eye brushes and my eyelash curler. And these are just mason jars that I got from the dollar store. They're just glass. And then I also got these little beads from the dollar store as well. And they're just pretty like blue that I put in here so that all my brushes lay really, really nicely. And then this is just a little Bath and Body Works candle. This is in sparkling berries and pears. And I light it sometimes when I'm doing my homework and stuff like that. So this next little acrylic organizer is actually my favorite part of I think my whole makeup collection. My mom bought this for me at Ross I believe but I'm gonna try to find a similar one like it at the container store. So in this first kind of big compartment right here that's just flat I have my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous foundation which I'm currently trying out. Then I have my Mario Badescu facial spray that I use every single day so I like having it right here to spray on throughout the day. Right here I have a little Bare Minerals concealer for spot concealing since I've been having a ton of breakouts recently. Underneath right here is just a little Benefit cream shadow that I like to use as a primer that I'm trying to get a lot more use out of because I forget how much I love this little thing. I have a little hair clip right here that I just use to pull my bangs out of my face when I'm doing my makeup. And then I have my everyday concealer. This is my Kat Von D Tattoo Locket. I move my stuff so you can kind of see what's in the back here. So I have my Benefit Roller Lash, which is my new absolute favorite, favorite, favorite mascara. I'm going to have a whole video on this, either going up before this video or very soon after. We'll have to see. And then I just have some tweezers and a little thing for my braces. And then over on this compartment right here, this little small one, this back area is actually divided into two long, tall compartments. So back there, I usually have a whole bunch of Q-tips, but since I'm going on vacation and I just finished them this morning, I didn't replenish them, but I usually have a ton of Q-tips for cleaning up my makeup in there. And then I just have a little Lash Domination Bare Minerals sample. This side over here, I really, really like because it has an elevated lip gloss and lipstick little organizing area, so I'll get into that in a second. But in the back here, I just have some Smashbox little foil samples. I up here, I just have some smaller, these are like like my Benefit little brushes that come with the box powders. And then those four up top are what are normally sitting there. All of these lipsticks right here are either lipsticks that I'm trying to get a little bit more use out of or the ones that I know I love and use every day. So my Tarte Lip Surgeon Skin Intuitive Lip Tint in the color Energy. Here is a Revlon Color Burst, a Lauder Gloss right here, and then a little Chanel Gloss right here. Up front here I have a Benefit Bella Bomba gloss, then I just have a little chapstick right here, my Bite Beauty mini lipstick that is just in this really, really vibrant pink color. I have a mini Urban Decay lipstick in Naked. I have a Makeup Forever lipstick. That I should have my three Smashbox Be Legendary little lip trios. I hauled those in my What I Got for Christmas haul, but one of them I sadly left at a friend's house so I need to get that back. But and then over here, I just have another little mason jar. I have five Real Techniques blending sponges. I absolutely love these, and I bring them all the time to, like, lessons or parties that I teach and stuff, so that's why I have so many of those. This is where I keep the bulk of all my hair and makeup items, so I'm just going to give you a quick little, like, panned view of what this looks like. I'm sure you all have seen this. This is the ever-famous IKEA Alex 9 drawer, and I absolutely love mine. So this is just where I have it over here in this nice little corner. And it's just really easy access for all my makeup and everything. So this is what it looks like. 
Alright, so now I'm just going to move on to what I have sitting out here on the top. So the first thing I have here is this really nice acrylic organizer and it has three compartments. The first one I have my Naked and my Lorac palette in, my Lorac Pro the first one because these are what I use the most. I also have my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit right here, the powder version, which as you can see, I love to death. And so I just keep these three right here because I use these three every single day, so I like to have them at an easy reach. Then in the back, and I'll go ahead and like turn it around for you so you can kind of see, in the back it has these two big compartments right here, and basically what I keep in here is just brushes that I still like but I'm not using at the moment, so I have like some Sigma. Elf, Real Techniques, this is a MAC one. Just brushes that I still enjoy using, but I'm not using at the moment because I have something I'm trying out or something I like better. And then over here, same kind of thing with eyes. Again, just a mix of like MAC, Elf, Urban Decay, um, Real Techniques, just a huge mix of different brands and stuff. I have this really cute little white desk organizer. This is actually for like pens and pencils. I got this at the container store and I got this at the can container store as well. I forgot to mention that. But I keep brushes in here that I have multiples of because I do a lot of other people's makeup and I teach a lot of makeup lessons and stuff like that. So I like having clean brushes that I can just easily reach to and then also like disposable mascara wands and stuff like that. So these just sit right back here so I can grab them easily. This really cute tin right here is from Clinique and I love it. I think it's so cute and I like how it adds a nice pop of like color to my like teal Tiffany blue walls back here. And this, this just has a ton of samples. This is actually the top of a candle box from Target but when you turn it on its side I thought it was adorable and it kind of like mix matches with this little Clinique tin that I have here. So in here I just keep brushes, you may recognize some of these, that um, I don't really use all too often. So like this one I use to put on my face mask with and just brushes that aren't necessarily my favorite. I just like to keep them in case I ever need something like this. Here I just have some mini hand sanitizers, these are all from Bath and Body Works. And this little tin right here is actually from Stila, it looks like this and I got it from a little kit. And I don't really keep anything in here, I just thought that it was really cute so I like having it on display. In the back. So now we are moving on to the first drawer in my Alex 9 drawer and this first drawer is a lot of my face products. So this first container has all of my concealers that are now falling out. I just have like Maybelline Fit Me, a LA Girl Pro Conceal, some MAC, some NYX, some Maybelline, just all of my liquid concealers that I am not currently using every day. The big huge acrylic divider that I have here that I also got from the container store has all of my CC creams, BB creams, and foundations, and a lot of primers as well. I'll just throw it in here. So in here I have like Benefit Hello Flawless, Benefit That Gal, I have my favorite Garnier BB cream, I have some Makeup Forever primer, um, I have my Smashbox BB cream, and then just like a random assortment of a whole bunch of primers. I have like e.l.f., Maybelline, I have like a little Benefit. I have these white wire organizers that I actually got from Target just a couple days ago. That's why I kind of waited to make this video because I wanted to have all of my stuff nicely organized, and now I finally do now that I bought these little ones from Target. So just a quick little thing here. These are currently at Target in the dollar section. I've never seen them before. I don't know if they're limited edition or what's up but these are only a dollar at Target and you're gonna see I have tons of them I absolutely love them and they fit really really nicely into this drawer set so in this first one I just have my bare minerals foundation you may have seen that in my products I regret buying I keep it in here because I know that a lot of people like it so if anyone ever wants to use it I have it at easy reach next one I have right here just has a whole bunch of tiny like moisturizer samples um, my Bobbi Brown eye cream and then my elf makeup lock and seal this is just kind of like a random one right here all my L'Oreal true matches that are not my shade. Obviously, these are not all ones that fit my shade every day. I'm absolutely obsessed with this foundation. Anyone that I teach can have a nice assortment to choose from. If you can see back here in the back, I'm just going to quickly go over this. I have some old Clinique foundations here that still have product left in them. If I'm ever doing like a really, really dramatic thing for dance or something, I have a Clinique moisturizer back here that is almost out. I'm so sad. I have an e.l.f. makeup mist and set in case I ever want to wet brushes or something. That's what I like using that for. I have an Urban Decay All Nighter makeup makeup setting spray that I tried to remember to use as much as possible because I love it and then I have my simple moisturizer that I use every morning and night before I go to bed. Alright, so now moving on to the second drawer. This is all of my face powders. One of these wire organizers from Target. My NARS and e.l.f. blushes fit absolutely perfectly in here. I just have a whole bunch of my e.l.f. blushes here and then this one up here is my NARS blush. And this next one that goes right here is just my highlights. So I have like a Victoria's Secret and e.l.f. A Stila, 
a Laura Geller, and then like a Liquid Elf and a Stick Benefit ones. So these are my two boxed blushes from Benefit. I have extra blushes that didn't fit in the other two containers. So I have like a NYX one, a Bare Minerals, and then there's like a random Ulta one at the bottom. All right, now this is one of my favorite drawers. This is my eye drawer, and I just love the way this looks. I think it looks so pretty. So I'm just gonna start at the front here. So in this last one over here, I just have my loose bronzers, and and I am obsessed with the bronzers in the Anastasia palette. So that's why I don't have too many loose bronzers, but I do have a really nice Jane bronzer, an elf bronzer, that is okay, and then a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer in here. And then all the way over here on this side, I have my two new elf blush palettes. I absolutely love these. I feel like if you owned one of these or both of these, you would never have to buy blush again. These are absolutely awesome. And then in this big acrylic organizer right here, again, these are all from the container store, I have all of my face setting powders. So I have my MAC one right here, my Rimmel Stay Matte. This is a Clinique one, an Ulta one. I usually have my e.l.f. HD powder in here, but I think my mom actually has it downstairs, so I usually have that kept in here since it's so large. I have a medium-sized organizer from the container store here. I'll have all the sizes of these and the link to them in my description bar, but in here I keep all of my mascaras. I have a whole bunch of Tarte's Lights Camera Flashes. I love this mascara. I have some e.l.f. Um, some Benefit, some Rimmel, just a whole bunch of drugstore and high-end mascaras mixed in here. Over here, I have my eyeliners. I have felt tip, liquid, um, pencil, some gel, just a whole bunch of different types. I have different colors. I just have a whole bunch of different eyeliners mixed in here. Then, in this little compartment right here, in a kind of like more square organizer, I have all of my eyelid primers. So, I have like Smashbox, e.l.f., MAC, um, NYX, there's a Lorac one down there, some Urban Decay. Just In this compartment right here, I have all of my drugstore eye palettes, except for this little one is a Clinique one. But all of these are my Wet n Wild trios, like this. And then I have some Ulta quads, and then underneath I have an LA Colors one that's just laying across the bottom. This is a longer one from Target, like a longer wire container. It's made the same way and looks basically the same. It's just skinnier and longer. I don't have a lot of single eyeshadows because I just like buying eyeshadows in palettes, but I do have some. I have Urban Decay, a Stila Kitten, um, a Sigma eyeshadow, and, and then I have another longer one right here for all of my lashes. So I just have like some Elf, some Andrea right Right here and then some lash glue. I don't I took out this little middle organizer so you can kind of see back in here a little bit. I just have some bigger drugstore palettes. So the last little compartment I have to show you is all brow stuff. So I have just a ton of different brow stuff in here. I have like Anastasia brow gel, which you know I love. I have like some e.l.f. clear brow gels. I have a ton of brow gels. I have like the Rimmel version of the clear brow gel. I'm thinking of doing like a showdown between all the different clear brow gels. So let I have a variety of different pencils, so like a MAC one, an Anastasia, and an e.l.f. I have my favorite e.l.f. eyebrow kit, I Anastasia brow gel. So this is the drawer that is probably my messiest, I guess you could say. It really just, I don't have a nice way to organize all these palettes. Oh, I'm sorry. I just keep all my eyeshadow palettes in here that are not up at the top. So I have like Naked 3. My Lorac Pro 2, um, my Stila in the Light, and I have an e.l.f. baked eyeshadow palette. Over here I have my e.l.f. custom compact, my e.l.f. brush shampoo, which I love to use to clean my brushes. I have another Lorac, this is the Afterglow palette. I have another Lorac, I haven't even taken this one out of the packaging yet, this is the Sultry Starlet palette. I believe this is the Ammo palette, and then in the back here, I'll pull this out real quick, I have like this Ulta, what is this called, Lid Line Love 10 piece eyeliner collection, this just has a whole bunch of like Ulta brand eyeliners, I honestly don't think I've ever used this, but I like knowing that I have all these eyeliners if I ever need to do like a super colorful look, or I just use this for when I'm doing makeup jobs, so it has a whole bunch of little containers that I can pour foundation into. Flash Door is another one of my favorites, I think just because it looks so pretty when you're looking at it. So over here on the side, I haven't been able to find an organizer that is really like skinny that can fit right here, but that's okay. This is just my lip liners. I don't have too many of them. I have like e.l.f., some NYX, and then like a L'Oreal one. I don't have too many lip liners, so they just fit nicely right here. And then the the way I decided to organize this is basically by color, except starting over here, this is like my lip balms, like my baby lips and EOS. This is more of my lip treatments and an EOS because it wouldn't fit over there, but this is like Aquaphor, Carmex, like an e.l.f. lip exfoliator. And then these, I like to keep all of my chubby lip balm stains like this one by 
Wet n Wild, and then I have like some Revlon and a Jordana. But the rest of my collection in here is organized by color. So this first little drawer, or this first little bin right here is my berries and are my favorites. I just have like a NYX Thalia. I have some Urban Decay, some MAC, um, some Ulta, and then like a mini of my Tarte Energy Lip Surgeon. This next one up here is my really vibrant or light, light, light pink. So like I have this MAC. One that's like super duper like hot, vibrant pink. And then I have like a NYX Butter Gloss. Here is my more peachy pinks. This right here is my reds and my plums. I have like this Rimmel Kate lipstick that's just in this really, really deep burgundy color. And then I have like some NYX right here. And then I have like a Stila. And then this last one over here on this side is more of my, I wouldn't say white, but just very, very sheer, light, light, light baby pinks. And then even things that like border on white or clear. So like I have some Liplicious. I have a ton of Stila. These are all in the shade Kitten. I have a Clinique lipstick in here. I have some NYX and then a little Bobbi Brown is back here in the back. 